Hi, this is Bart from MMOGRAPHIA. 11th Hour Games just finished the Warlock Reveal Week on IC Veins and so far we've been shown, well, everything there is. The only thing that I am personally missing is a complex uh, gameplay footage focusing a little bit on the interactions. So uh, we thought it is a good moment to go over all available information about Warlock and give you our thoughts and opinion about it. First skill revealed is Projectile Housebots. It is a spammable AoE skill that deals fire and necrotic damage. Visually it looks like any other projectile spell attack in last epoch, but on steroids. Visually it's stunningly beautiful. Thanks. Next skill that has been revealed is Solfist. It shreds cursed enemies while at the same time gives us survivability. Again, visually it looks awesome. Now it's time for Profane Veil. It's a movement skill that transforms us into orb with a guaranteed dodge mechanic. Additionally, during the transformation it deals area damage around us. It is a first such a complex traversal skill in last epoch. We'll see if it's better than Transplant. In the background footage you can see the combination of all the skills. Visually and gameplay-wise it looks really, really well. I can't wait to get my hands on it. Next skill revealed to us is Thonic Fissure. If you like pulling tormented souls from hell, then I guess this is a skill for you. It creates a fissure to hell from which poor souls come out and auto-target nearby foes. For sure there will be a several ways how to make this our primary skill. Put these three skills together. And you're starting to cook! Now it's time for Ghost Flame. If you ever played Nova Boy Sorcerer build, this should be a familiar skill for you. You channel your skill into mobs and deal damage over time. We'll talk about this a little bit later. Ghost Flame has your back. Now it's time for Creme de la Creme of Warlock. Curses. In last epoch our warlock is like a proper voodoo master. Curses are base of our offensive arsenal. What is interesting that curses are not a separate skills but innate results of skill usage. We will have five curses in our arsenal. Anguish, Penance, the Creepify, Acid Skin and Torment. Anguish is a curse that lasts 10 seconds, reduces damage over time dealt and deals necrotic damage to all enemies afflicted with it whenever you kill an enemy. It cannot stack. Penance is a curse that lasts 15 seconds, which causes affected targets to take 20 spellfire damage when they hit another target, but it does not stack. The Creepify is a curse which deals 200 physical damage over 10 seconds with added damage applying at 100% effectiveness per second and causes the target to take more damage from damage over time based on the caster missing health. Maybe low life builds here? Acid Skin is a curse which deals 80 poison damage over 5 seconds with added damage applying at 80% effectiveness per second and adds 20% chance to be critically hit. Torment is a curse which deals 120 spell necrotic damage over 3 seconds with added damage applying at 200 effectiveness per second and reduces movement by 12%, multiplicative with other modifiers, but it does not stack. That's all about curses. In the following reviews we've seen passive and skill trees. I will not go over them as it will take a lot of time. 
please go to ICVane's webpage and read it through by yourself. If you go over the passive trees, you will also notice a new mechanic called Overload. Shortly speaking, it puts your ailments on steroids. As a proper lazy ARPG gamer, for sure I will test this mechanic with our first build that we will be testing just after premiere. Rip Blood Auto Bomber. Overload applies to all types of ailments. Poison, Ignite and Damped. They are all very interesting options and for sure I will have a trouble which one to choose. As for the skills, my favorite one so far is Ghost Flame with Harrowing Path passive, which allows us to move and channel skill at the same time. Just look at the footage, this is sick. The skill fits beautifully with our Warlock Autobomber idea. But let's not forget that Warlock have plenty of viable interesting options that for sure will be explored after launch. I am sure that there will be plenty of great builds, especially damage over time. Just like we had with the Rune Master. Warlock will be available for everyone together with 1.0 release on the 21st of February this year. You can buy free editions of the game on lastepoch.com slash preorder or official Steam page. You will find a link below in the video description. I can't wait for the premiere and I know that Warlock will be my starter build. What about you? Which class will you choose?